All right, so uh, another thing we need to consider when we're dealing with plant assets is how do we account for additional expenditures uh, on those assets? So of course we we have to we we've learned how to account for the cost of an asset and how to depreciate its uh, its cost over the useful life. But what do we do if we spend additional money on the asset? And the first thing we have to do is figure out um, what kind of money did we spend on it, or, or what was the nature of the expenditure. So there are two types. The first are called revenue expenditures and the second are called capital expenditures. So revenue expenditures do not increase the plant's uh, assets life or capabilities. Now that doesn't count things like regular maintenance. Uh, you might argue that maintenance, take a vehicle like an oil chain, you'd say, well, that extends the asset's life. Uh, and I would say, well, it doesn't really extend its life. It allows it to live a normal life. Uh, meaning it lasts as long as it should last with regular maintenance. So revenue expenditures don't extend the asset's life. We record them as an expense during the period. So if I paid for an oil change on a vehicle, I would just record that as a maintenance expense uh, and report, report that on our income statement as a regular expense. Capital expenditures, on the other hand, provide benefits for longer than the current period. Um, so if I did something that materially changed the asset and made it more useful, uh, maybe I added a lift gate to a truck so that we could use it for hauling loads in a different way. Um, or, uh, you know, maybe I built a wing, an addition onto a building, something like that. The benefits for longer than the current period, we would record them as an addition to the asset account, and then we would have to recalculate our depreciation expense going forward based on the new cost of the asset. Uh, and we would report that on the balance sheet as an increase to the asset. Let's see, sorry. So uh, again, we just have to, so what's hard about this, is like in a real life scenario is some things are clearly revenue expenditures. And some things are clearly capital expenditures. And then there's always this little gray area where you have to really kind of think about it and talk it over with the people who, who make those decisions, uh, unless you're the one who makes the decision. And then you, you just have to uh, make the decision. Um, but typically, again, here's some identifying characteristics. Revenue expenditures maintain the normal operating condition that do not increase productivity, do not extend the life beyond the original estimate. Whereas capital expenditures, sometimes we call them betterments. I guess that means we're making it better uh, or an extraordinary repair. Um, those extend the life beyond the original estimate, or I would say increased productivity. That's not on the list, but uh, certainly if I, you know, added a wing onto a building uh, where we could, so we could get more customers in there, that doesn't extend the life of it necessarily, but it, it, it increases the productivity or use of the asset. So for, again, when we do the journal entry, uh, things like revenue expenditures, we, they would look almost always like this, a debit to an expense account and a credit either to cash or to accounts payable, depending on how we paid for that repair. And then for betterments or capital expenditures, it would almost always look like this, a debit to the asset itself because we're increasing the cost of the asset and a credit to either cash or uh, a payable of some sort. So that's it. That's the difference between the difference between revenue and capital expenditures and how we handle them from an accounting standpoint.